Welcome back everyone. Today I'm here in my yard in my medicinal garden here with yarrow, which is a really awesome healing medicinal plant that many of you have probably seen by roadsides. Today we're going to make a lovely medicinal salve out of it. Let's learn more about it. So this is yarrow Achillea millifolium and uh, it's a really 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 important pollinator and uh, medicinal plant. It can also be used in uh, soil remediation as well as it can uh, take in heavy metals and things like that. So that's really, really cool. So it's planted here in my backyard. Uh, I use it a lot for pollinators and for its medicinal purposes. Now it's been known for a very long time to have medicinal benefits. Um, if you can tell by its genus Achillea, um, it's from Greek mythology, uh, Achilles. So the Greek myth of Achilles uh, used this, to, um, this herb in battle to heal soldiers' wounds. Um, although he unfortunately died um, when arrow to his heel because he wasn't that part was not submerged in water So uh, it has been used in traditional medicine to heal wounds uh, with its antibacterial properties And it's really good at stopping bleeding uh, of minor wounds So I mean I've had scrapes before and even just sort of plucking the leaf off of um, the yarrow and just sort of rubbing it on the wound or the little tiny bleeding pimple or whatever you have It actually stops the bleeding fairly rapidly. It's pretty impressive it has a very lovely and distinctive flavor and actually many people use it as a mosquito repellent. Um, so this yard, we don't have a ton of mosquitoes and I think it's probably due to having the, uh, the yarrow here in the yard. So I'll just show you the plant here itself. We've got these beautiful compound flowers uh, and as you can see the leaves here, uh, they have this kind of feathered, almost fern-like appearance to them and it goes down the stalk. They're quite tall. I mean, they can actually be almost like, you know, three and a half, four feet tall. Um, and they grow uh, in clusters like this, you know, and they really grow, they're pretty easy to find um, by the roadside, but be aware when you're harvesting things, to make sure you're harvesting them in a clean area. Like I said, they do bioaccumulate uh, heavy metals and they can use to be used to remediate uh, in bad soil. Uh, so just be sure that you're not harvesting this from an area where there's pesticides or other, um, other nasties that could be in the soil. Yarrow is an important flower for our fly pollinators. We always think of bees as being important pollinators, but flies are really important too. Um, it has a pretty, like, I don't know, interesting smell, so it tends to attract a lot of flies. Uh, there are a couple of species of butterfly that also uh, pollinate it, and uh, you know, some beetles as well, I think. So the flowers can come in different colors. Here I have sort of a subtle pale pink and white variety. Uh, sometimes it comes with yellow flowers. Uh, it likes to grow in sort of disturbed soils, uh, does really, really well in a rocky, uh, low quality soils, which is kind of what I have here. This is part of my yard where there's a lot of fill brought in uh, and it's kind of gravelly. And as you can see, it is really taken off in this back corner. And I've heard that the medicinal benefits of uh, the yarrow grown in such environments is actually, um, you know, much better than in kind of rich soil. So that's, uh, that's pretty neat. So I'm going to be harvesting some of this today to make our medicinal salve. So yarrow can have some lookalikes, mainly sweet fennel, poison hemlock, and uh, the wild carrot. So please be 100% sure of what you're foraging uh, before making a salve. It is a great companion crop. So if you have veggies in your yard or fruits and you want pollinators to come in, definitely want to plant some yarrow. So now uh, let's head inside. We're going to harvest uh, some of this plant and we're going to go make some salve. So I have my yarrow leaves here and I uh, have just a very light sunflower oil. I'm just going to pop this in the instant pot. Like so, it's around a couple of cups. And what we'll do is we'll just chop up the arrow and put it in there. And there we go. You can see what we're doing there. Uh, just sort of chopped it up really fine. Now in terms of the settings, we're gonna put it on the yogurt setting and normal. And we're gonna set it to 48 hours. This is just gonna keep it kind of like it's sitting in a warm, sunny window. We don't wanna cook the arrow, we just wanna infuse the oil. So uh, this setting is perfect for that purpose. Of course, you can always uh, Put the arrow in oil in the sun for some time and uh, you'll get the same result. Okay, here we are. Uh, I've infused that oil. Now what we gotta do is strain out the yarrow. Well, if I hold this up to the light, you can see kind of a nice little olive -y, uh, green color to my oil. All right, so we are all done. Uh, the oil is now infused with uh, the yarrow. And what I want to do is in a water bath, we're going to um, do a mixture of one part of the infused oil uh, to two parts of shea nut butter. So this will make a really nice salve. So I've got some um, organic virgin shea nut butter. So this is kind of exciting. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, one third of a cup of the infused oil to two thirds of a cup of the shea butter. It has a really nice smell. It sort of smells almost, I don't know, nutty. There's an unusual smell to it. It smells really good though. So I'm going to do just a small batch today for demonstration purposes. So I've got the rest of my oil right here, but basically you just measure that and then um, add two more parts of it to the um, shea butter. So uh, we're just going to do this and then I'm making a little double boiler here to melt it down. As the water bath warms up, I'm just going to gently kind of stir in here. Um, you know, you can do like small batches like this, then each different batch you can add essential oils or things like that. So this one's just going to be a plain one. I'll do some other varieties later on. All right, it's all done. That did not take too much time. Now we're just going to, um, I was going to put it in this really cute little mason jar. Try not to drop it there. <laughs> so that's perfect. It fits exactly. So this one is just going to be my regular straight yarrow and shea butter. Uh, oh, this is going to be really nice and you can make a really cute presentation uh, if you're giving these away. So we're going to let this set. It's going to take a bit of time to set and we'll come back and check on it and give it a try. Now we're going to pop this in the freezer and uh, periodically you can take it out and whip it up if you wanted to kind of have a whipped body butter kind of texture to the salve. But uh, we're just going to pop it in the freezer now just to help it kind of set and check on it. Also to pop it in the freezer helps with the graininess of the shea butter, so it won't be such a grainy salve uh, if you use this method. Wow, the magic of TV, that worked really quickly. Um, so what we'll do is let's give this yarrow salve a try. All right, so we're gonna try this. Uh, it looks great. I've been storing it in the fridge uh, just to kind of, um, you know, keep it nice and fresh. I'd recommend storing your salve in the fridge. Uh, you don't want it to go off at room temperature. So I have a little irritation from a mosquito bite. Uh, I want to try this. Sap has really good uh, properties for healing small wounds, uh, small burns, and of course helping to clot blood. There we go. I've got my little bloody mosquito bite there. It's so itchy and it was oozing. So I'm going to take some of the sap there. It's super nice. Really nice and creamy. And I just rubbed it into the area. It doesn't sting, nothing like that. And so that lovely shea butter. It's got a really, really nice smell. So this should uh, get me all patched up in no time. Thanks so much for joining me today in the garden to learn about yarrow and to make some medicinal salve. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. Take care.